<laughs> there you go. My first time. See so how yeah, Dave's set up. We're using his iPad this week. Instead Everybody of has their first time. Yeah, mine was getting a little full. I was trying to put something on it. I was just like, why is there no space left? I realized, oh, still got all those movies from last week on it. All right, this is Jim and Dave's beer review. Number nine. Number Season nine. Season one, episode nine. Number nine. Saturday, number two, as it turns out. Number all right. Nine. Dave, what's our next beer on tap for tonight? From the Point Brewery of New York. No, it's not New York. Where are they from? Stephen Point Brewery. Point Brewing Excellence since 1857. Handcrafted Burley Brown. American Brown Ale. Burley well, Brown. Point yeah, well made. The label? Yes, Point Well Made, it says on the bottom. Haha, <laughs> Point Well Made. You know, 1837, they, uh, what was it, 18? 1857. 1857, excuse me. And this is the first time I've heard of them. And I have the website still open. So ah, here comes the nutritional information. Oh, that's my own. We might be getting a visit from the Carson. No, that was my phone. My, my, was it? My, oh, my, I thought my, maybe it was the bell upstairs. My teeth. No, All right, my, never mind. The watch. Fine point beer. All right, it's enough of the label here. No, wait a minute. Burley Brown, American Brown Ale. This is an ale. Pour it up. Brews. Okay, Burley Brown. Here we go. Burley Bre Point Burley Brown Ale is a complex blend of select roast malts balanced with American grown Will Williamette and Northern Brewer hops from a from the Yakima Valley. Yakima. Beginning Yakima. with a fresh malt bouquet heightened by a nutty scent of rich toasted chocolate malts. This burly American brown ale embraces notes of nut and caramel Oops. with easy drinking pleasure. Except for how much you have to pronunciate everything. Yeah, speak up. Yes. Things over there. This exceptionally smooth ale finishes clean with a perfect amount of lingering malt flavors, helping you appreciate the American craftsmanship that pours into every glass. So it's not quite as dark as the other one, although on the TV here it still looks like it's pretty dark, but this is a much richer amber color, very dark, well, very brown, I guess I should say. Not as black as the black ale, but it's, uh, we've gone from black to brown, so we're getting a little bit lighter as year round. Going. What, what year round? Availability is year round. Available year round. Malts, calories 12 ounces, two roll six count, Vienza Victory 158, two roll chocolates crystal. I don't know what that means. Mm -hmm. uh, 12, let's see, hops, carb grams 12 ounces, 16.9 slash 12 ounce. Alcohol content 5.43 by volume. Silver medal winner, U.S. Open Beer 2010. Gold medal winner, World Beer Championships 2011. Bronze medal winner, World Beer Championships 2012. Well, you got to figure, I don't know, I I'm, you know nothing about the whole realm of uh, judging beers and beer competition, but you got to figure that unless there's a new beer out there, the same beers can't win year after year. So maybe they just say, all right, let's this year, let's give it to these guys. So yeah. Maybe, or maybe one year they, maybe they should have it so that if you win gold one year, you can't enter the next year because you've already gotten it. And that's with it. some kind of cars, they always get the same award every year, like the Nissan Altima or mm -hmm. a Honda Accord or something like that. They always now, get the same thing every year. You always hear about uh, JD Powers yeah. Associates yeah. Award for quality, and yet I don't see them giving out awards for beer. It's always like the, um, you know, Dan and Bob's uh, Yellow Ribbon Kentucky competition or something, something like that. I don't know. It's, I don't know how this all works out. It's a uh, pretty dark, not as dark as the yeah. other one, but it's yeah, you know, it's brownish, brown. but you know, sort of reddish. All right, smell. Mm. Kind of a sweet taste. Well, I'll sweet, taste. sweet smell. Sweet smell. Sweet smell. Sorry, I, those I, must I, have been those complex uh, notes that they were talking about. Notes. Beer or is it a symphony? I don't know. No. All right, let's give it a shot. Cheers. Yeah, cheers. To our friends out there. <sighs> Four minutes, 53 seconds in, and we're finally drinking a beer. we got to get these episodes uh, speeded up a little bit. Well, 
Yeah, by the time we get done, I'm almost done the beer. And I'm ready to go to the next one. Yeah, yeah, the, this show gets more and more fun to produce as the night goes on. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you think? I, I, I like it not as much as the last one. I like it. I like it better than the last one. But oh. like I said, I'm not a big fan of Black Ales. Uh, I think this is very smooth. Yes. Uh, you know, the aftertaste is pretty uh, straightforward, too. It tastes like the beer. It's not a bad aftertaste. Very, very smooth going down. Let me see. I could drink the whole thing in one, one scoop. Yeah, this would be an easy beer to chug, I think. What was the alcohol content? Say on the bottle? 5.6. No, it says 5.6. 5.6. All right, so that's probably why it's so easy to drink. That's very smooth. I can see this going very well at um, a cookout. Um, Maybe uh, cook a couple hot sausages on a fire after a long uh, well, look bike ride shred. How many different kinds do you have? It's like, come on. Hey, if, please. We're doing a show here. I know. You can't see it. I don't. If you can't share it, don't bring it up. Let's I don't know. I'll run up to the camera him, there and be like, he hey, can see what he wants. It's American. He can do what he wants. Well, at least give a link. So, well, it's pointbeer.com. All right. So, go to pointbeer.com. You can see the list of all the beers that they have. Dave is very amazed by it. See, yeah. that's what you do. You, you want to share it with the audience. You don't just say, hey, look at what I'm looking at that you guys can't see. I didn't mean it that way, people. Uh, well, that's, that's what I, just I'm here for. A, well, I, I well you know, I've listened to, to the Howard Stern Show for years, and he always berates people on the proper way to do a show, how to keep it interesting and moving along for the audience, unlike us, because we're at 6 minutes, 34 seconds here. And so. I'm an amateur. Yada, yada, yada. yada. Like yes, it. me too. I don't claim to You are more of a professional. a professional than I am. Well, You've been in the business... Oh, wow. Well, business is doing videos, but you notice I'm exactly. not editing this with an ending or we're just putting a strap on YouTube. Right. We're doing this uh, gonzo style. Gonzo. Yeah, we just film it, boom, put it out there. No credits, no titles. I might do that later when I've got entirely too much time to kill. All right, so scale of 1 to 10, what do you give this beer? Uh, six. Six. Uh. Well, let's see. If I gave six and a half to that brown ale, this has got to be above it. Um, well, you know, we never really established what is a 10 and what would be a 1 in terms of all the beers we tried. Uh, so, what um, beer is what? Okay. I don't know if I've ever had a beer that I'm like, way. this is the greatest beer ever. To me, Budweiser so, is a 1, and like, uh, Guinness is like a 10, so this is like a 6. Uh, Guinness is a 10. Okay, well, I can't go with that scale. Um, I can't think of a 10 off the top of my head, although I know I've had beers that really knock my socks off and they don't come to mind. What are you so I will beers? say Samuel Adams Boston Lager is a 10 in my book. And a 1, I don't know if it's fair to give Budweiser a 10 because I think Budweiser is an easy target, you know, the whole Beechwood aging thing, causing people to age, I don't know if that's true or not. Um, it's an easy to drink beer, um, cheap though, something I wanted to get away from. So, however, I seem to recall, what was that one beer, um, was it Keystone? We got one beer a long Bush. time ago. Yeah, Bush. Yeah, <laughs> the Bush. That's like a two guys. Yeah, Bush was uh, down there. So, I'm gonna say. Um, yeah, I seem to remember I had a really bad I'm experience with Keystone. National Bohemian. Keystone. National Bohemian. Yeah. Keystone. Uh, yeah. Elephant beer. Uh, something else I didn't like too much. Elephant beer is awesome. Yeah, those Belgian beers last year were pretty darn near zero too. All right, just I'll just off the top of my head, I'm gonna say Keystone's a zero. My ten is a Samuel Adams Boston Lager. So far, this been subject to change. I will give this a. Um, I'm gonna be extra critical here. I'm gonna say seven, because while it is very smooth and has a good flavor and would be an easy drinkable beer, it's not very flavorful. It's not. It doesn't have a whole lot of complex character. I'm gonna just try to throw in some terms like that to sound fancy, but no, very smooth, very good. I think if this one was uh, ice cold, I'd like it even more. For some reason, uh, the beers in my fridge right now aren't getting very cold. But uh, good, it is good. I would recommend it. This would be a good one to have with, um, I don't know, soft pretzel, maybe some French fries. Um, I have it with a burger. Burger, yeah, definitely a burger kind of beer. Yeah, you know, it's definitely like a kicking back on a Sunday afternoon kind of beer. You go to like you know? Applebee's or something like that. You know? Yeah, something like that. I don't know if they serve it at Applebee's, but so it's a pretty good beer all in all. I give it a seven. Dave gives it a, a six. six. Yeah, six. all right. So there you have it. Jim and Dave's Beer Review, doing Point Burley Brown, American Brown Ale. Be back in a little bit, guys. Be back in a little bit. Here we go. Transition, if I ever put this in the computer. <laughs> Maybe not.